isolated hip movements align with the highlighted arrow that runs across the rakasa mat. Stand with the arches of your feet over the arrowed line, placed as wide as the center circle on your rakasa mat. Place your hand on your navel and pull your navel away from your hand. Place your hand on your heart, then take your hand off your heart, expand and lift your chest to meet your hand. Between an anterior and a posterior pelvic tilt is neutral. Maintain a neutral pelvis. Remember to keep your knees soft to ensure optimal hip movement. Keep your hips level and slide them side to side along the arrowed line. Keep the movements isolated in your hips so that your upper body is not moving. Avoid pumping your knees back and forth so that the movements are smooth and even sliding from one side to the next. To ensure you have the full range of motion, use your rocks and mat as a reference and remember to practice with the balance plate on top of your head. Isolated hip movements align with the highlighted X shown on the rakasa mat. Stand with the arches of your feet over the arrowed line placed as wide as the center circle on your rakasa mat. Place your hand on your navel and pull your navel away from your hand. Place your hand on your heart, then take your hand off your heart, expand and lift your chest to meet your hand. Between an anterior and a posterior pelvic tilt is neutral. Maintain a neutral pelvis. Remember to keep your knees soft to ensure optimal hip movement. Keep your hips level as you twist from the right side to the left side. Avoid pumping your knees back and forth or twisting from the shoulders. Keep the movements isolated in the hips. To ensure you have a full range of motion, be sure that your hips align with the X on your mat. Remember to practice with the balance plate on top of your head. Isolated hip movements align with the highlighted figure eight on your rakasa mat. Stand with the arches of your feet over the arrowed line, placed as wide as the center circle on your rakasa mat. Place your hand on your navel and pull your navel away from your hand. Place your hand on your heart, then take your hand off your heart, expand and lift your chest to meet your hand. Between an anterior and a posterior pelvic tilt is neutral. Maintain a neutral pelvis. Remember to keep your knees soft to ensure optimal hip movement. The horizontal figure eight involves a series of twisting and sliding movements with level hips, which trace along the lines and the circles. The movements gently shift weight from side to side. Notice how the hips are staying level and the knees are staying soft without pumping back and forth. Keep your movements isolated in your hips only. Avoid twisting from the shoulders. Twist and slide your right hip forward and trace your right outer hip along the outside of the figure eight pattern. Slide through the center X. Trace your left outer hip along the outside of the figure eight pattern. Repeat the same movement as you shift your weight from right side to the left side. To ensure you have the full movement, be sure that your hips align with the figure eight on your rakasa mat. Practice with the balance plate on top of your head. Isolated hip movements align with the large highlighted circle on your rakasa mat. Stand with the arches of your feet over the arrowed line, placed slightly wider than the center circle on your rakasa mat. Shoulder width apart would be ideal. Place your hand on your navel and pull your navel away from your hand. Place your hand on your heart, then take your hand off your heart, expand and lift your chest to meet your hand. 
between an anterior and a posterior pelvic tilt is neutral. Maintain a neutral pelvis. Remember to keep your knees soft to ensure optimal hip movement. The large external hip circle is a combination of sliding and circling, an effort to trace the large oval on your Rakasa mat. When you slide your hips from one side and swing your hips to the front, then slide to the other side and swing your hips to the back, you are striving to keep your hips level and with your legs soft, but on the straighter side to avoid pumping your knees back and forth. The movements stay isolated in the hips only. Let's break down the movement. Slide your hips to the right, hip bones forward, slide left, hip bones to the back. Slide right, both hip bones forward, slide left, hip bone to the back. Connect each movement so it's smooth and even. And remember to practice both directions and with your balance plate on top of your head. Isolated hip movements align with the pelvic floor, tracing the small highlighted center circle on your Rakasa mat. Stand with the arches of your feet over the arrowed line, placed as wide as the center circle on your Rakasa mat. Place your hand on your navel and pull your navel away from your hand. Place your hand on your heart, then take your hand off your heart, expand and lift your chest to meet your hand. Between an anterior and a posterior pelvic tilt is neutral. Maintain a neutral pelvis. Remember to keep your knees soft to ensure optimal hip movement. Get your hip to the right, tuck, left, untuck, right, tuck, left, untuck, right, tuck, left, untuck, right, tuck, left, untuck. Now, this movement here is gonna be pulled in small and minute, connecting all four so that it is a nice internal hip circle. Movements have ease and precision. Be sure to practice going in both directions, striving to perform each side with equal ease. Practice with the balance plate on top of your head. The Rakasa Reverse Undulation uses an imaginary wall on your Rakasa mat. Begin by standing with feet behind the arrowed line placed as wide as a center circle on your Rakasa mat. As a reference point, imagine a wall growing from the center line. Place your hand on your navel and pull your navel away from your hand. Place your hand on your heart, then take your hand off your heart, expand and lift your chest to meet your hand. Between an anterior and a posterior pelvic tilt is neutral. Your hips will rock between anterior and posterior pelvic tilts with the reverse undulation. Remember to keep your knees soft to ensure optimal hip movement. Sit, tuck, straighten and untuck. Sit, tuck, straighten and untuck. Keep the movement smooth and even, shifting your weight from your heels to your toes. Sit, tuck, and straighten anterior and posterior pelvic tilts, moving forward towards the wall and backward away from your imaginary wall. The reverse undulation involves a series of anterior and posterior pelvic tilts, shifting your weight from your heels to your toes. To initiate the movement, begin with your knees bent into a seated position. Next, straighten your legs as you untuck your hips, bringing them to meet the imaginary wall from the ground up. Sit, tuck, straighten, untuck. Sit, tuck, straighten, and untuck. Remember to practice with your balance plate on top of your head. Isolated hip lifts and hip drops begin with your weight on a single leg, positioned in line with the center circle on your Rakasa mat. Imagine a pole running up from the circle through your leg. Place your hand on your navel and pull your navel away from your hand. 
Place your hand on your heart, then take your hand off your heart, expand and lift your chest to meet your hand. Between an anterior and a posterior pelvic tilt is neutral. Maintain a neutral pelvis. Remember to keep your knees soft to ensure optimal hip movement. Shoulders and hips are your set squared position. After you lift your hip up towards your rib cage, lower your hip back into the set squared position. Keeping your standing leg soft or with a slight bend is particularly important to ensure optimal hip movement. Stylistic accents include standing on an angle to feature the hip. Additional stylistic accents include holding the hip up, then dramatically dropping it back to set position. Or small and vibrant hip lifts. Practice with your balance plate and be sure to practice both sides. Begin by standing with feet behind the arrowed line placed as wide as the center circle on your Rakasa mat. As a reference point, imagine a wall growing from that center line. Place your hand on your navel and pull your navel away from your hand. Place your hand on your heart, then take your hand off your heart, expand and lift your chest to meet your hand. Between an anterior and a posterior pelvic tilt is neutral maintain a neutral pelvis. Remember to keep your knees soft to ensure optimal hip movement. Maintain a neutral pelvis as you simply tap your right kneecap, left kneecap to the imaginary wall. The hips will naturally move accordingly. Pull the movements in smaller and faster. Maintain a neutral pelvis with a lift lock drop posture. Strive to keep your weight evenly distributed over the arch of the foot. Remember to practice with the balance plate on top of your head.